Hi and welcome to another tutorial from the Golden Ribbon. Today we're looking at the Metal Grill Cutout Text Effect tutorial. Now, I saw this text effect in um, an old Photoshop tutorial and um, I love the effect so I figured I'd go and see if I could create that in Inkscape and I did. So first up we have your colours on the left. We have the canvas here and the canvas is a radial gradient. A smooth gradial gradient almost hard to see and we're gonna the canvas size is 1920 by 180 okay let's get into it um, on top of that we have this this square here which is not going to be so easily seen but we'll get into that you know in a second in fact let's make that the first thing we're gonna go to this square here and this is a small square which is seven by seven pixels. And we're just gonna recreate this. It's a simple group. So let's create this here. So we create the rectangle here, which is six by six pixels. And once you create it, just gonna go ahead and duplicate it and just scale the top of it to about here. And this is about by 1.7 and it's going to duplicate that hold control and rotate on the rotate so it's 90 degrees is upright so we have oh it's orthogonal so it's upright so we have um these two right here and we're going to duplicate with control and d these two again and just split them on the horizontal and vertical and place them right here. If you're having problems with um, with placing them, then we can add in our snap tool and enable snap bounding boxes and enable the um, snap bounding box corners. So this way it snaps nicely and you don't have to worry about the position. Good, so we have this here. It's gonna go into our fill and stroke. So I'm gonna go to object and fill and stroke and we're going to reduce this to 50% good and we're going to reduce this to 50% also so just go into our opacity um, slider box and if you click it you get a cursor option and you change the number to 50% on your keyboard and we're going to go ahead and bring this to black and keep this at blue but we want this to be above so we're just going to lift this up okay 50 percent seems a little small for the blue so let's up that from 50 to about um let's say 65. yeah that looks about right and that's how we get this seven pixel by seven pixel square right now in this tutorial because of the technique used to produce the grill effect it's gonna call it's gonna be um render heavy you really want to stick to the proportions that i'm going to give you or go lower you know so that you can get a better time rendering this out so what we're going to do we're going to make clones of this specifically tile clones so we're going to go to the edit in our file menu and then we're going to go to clone and we'll go to tile clones good now in this now what you want to do we want to go into our shift dialog box and you want to shift it by 55 percent per column uh, on the x-axis and on the y you want to go 55 percent per row so on the x-axis 55 per column 55 per row this is a way to get a tabled, an uh, even table effect using the tile clones. Any other way will give you shifts that look uneven. So you have to edit the per row on the Y and the column on the X. Good. So let's go ahead and do that. and put it down here well just before we do that let's just leave this open for a bit let's create our text so i'm going to go to the text tool 
draw a line, and I type in Akum, Akuma. Uh, I just came up with a name, I don't have a meaning for it. Not all of these names need to be meanings. <laughs> you know, I just figure uh, I need a name that begins with O. That sort of sounds cool. So I said, let me just come up with a name and I said Akuma as the name. Alright, we're just going to scale it up about here. And the font that we're using is Bello. And that's a nice old font. We can, I'll send you the link to the, I'll send you the download link when I write this tutorial. And um, you can get the font there. So we have our font here. Now I've already created the font for myself. You know, so I'm just going to go ahead and take that. Take that font and lift it up. Good. And you want to make sure it's this color blue right here. This very, very dark blue. Good. Next, we're going to place our square at the bounding box. Good. And the snap tool helps us to find that. Uh, and that's important. So we get accuracy here. And my text is about 286 by 270 so that's around the size and that matters for the metrics that we're going to use right now so we're going to select that box that we created earlier and we want going to go down to the bottom where we have to apply the tile cones and we want the rows to be 30 and the columns to be 115 and this is the minimum coverage that's going to be necessary to cover this text so I'm going to go ahead and create Gonna take a little bit of time. Good. Okay. Actually, it's a bit more for this one. I think it's because I increased the box size a little bit. Yeah. So we can actually reduce this to um, reduce the render time. Let's go ahead and reduce this to like 110 and create. And then we we'll use that. Okay, so you could even reduce even more, which is great, that's fantastic. So we have the Akuma selected text. I'm just gonna go ahead and lift it above. Put it about here. I'm gonna select everything apart from the text. I'm gonna group all of these clones together with Control and G. So that way we move them as one whole unit. I'm gonna select the gonna duplicate this text with control and D, select the clones, left click and go to set clip. Good. Then I'm gonna get this duplicate and I'm gonna put it underneath the clones and we have the first step. Then we're gonna duplicate the text one more time with control and D. We're gonna go up to filters, shadows and glow, and we're gonna go to drop shadow. Good. We want the offset to be 0 0.5 and the on the horizontal and vertical and we want to select in a cutout. I used these settings before, that's why it's it's here, and I use a blur of 1.1. And the blur color is straight black. And the opacity is 120 or the alpha is 127, so roughly half. I'm going to uh, and apply. Good. Let's go ahead and look at this. It looks okay-ish. I feel like the opacity could be a little bit higher. Let's go ahead and make the opacity higher. Text. Let's go to um, filters, shadows and glows, drop shadow. Um, let's make the opacity a little higher. Apply. There we go, that looks much better. And we have our cutout here. So with that, just gonna select this text one more time. Duplicate it. And we're going to um, duplicate it once more. And make one final duplicate. So we're duplicating it three times. 
and just push it to a side in case we need this and I'm going to change the color of this to any color here because we just need it to separate it from the duplicate underneath I'm going to lift it up slightly and we're going to push it to the right slightly until we have this very thin edge here that looks like almost like a bevel we want it thin we don't want it too obvious this is about right I'm going to zoom in and we're going to select the dark duplicate and then select the lighter one let's just select it okay we're getting a strange in here no selecting just fine and then select the blue and we're going to go to path and difference good and we won't be able to see what's happening because it's going to be the dark blue but what we're going to do is that we're going to select this gray down here good and we select the gray we can see we've got a slight highlight it's a little bit thin we could suppose make it a bit thicker and lift it up a bit and drag it to the right a little bit more and um, let's go again select the both of them go to path and difference and select the gray right and this looks a lot better and that will give us that nice inset effect right there and there we have pretty much our grill effect and we are going to just add a sheen so stretch this out and we're just going to go ahead and get this text effect that we had duplicated it's going to snap it into place select this ellipse that we've just created going to make the ellipse the grey and we're just going to select this in the text and go to path and intersection I select the grey one more time it's a little bit needs a little bit of a stretch let me stretch it a bit more so holding shift from the stretching out select them once more go to path and intersection right this looks a lot better select the grey and just going to go ahead to get the gradient tool you can press G or go to gradient tool in your toolbox click on the grey and pull up good and we are in a radial gradient and that is purposely done I think this effect looks better with radial anyway good I'm just going to go ahead and reduce the opacity of this so go to your fill and stroke dialog box and go to object and fill and stroke and just reduce the opacity of this sheen let's see if we can just stretch it out a bit more get it a bit more even right and there we have our metal grill cutout text effect if you enjoy this tutorial give it a thumbs up if you have any questions be sure to ask yeah, that's baby in the background if you have any suggestions for the tutorial be sure to add them i appreciate that and um don't forget to hit that subscribe button but until i see you again Get up and design a new dawn. Later.